right through Welcome to the St. John's University Undergraduate Virtual Recognition Ceremony for the Class of 2020. I am Dr. Katherine Hutchinson, Vice President for Student Affairs, and I am proud to serve as Master of Ceremonies for this special event to honor and recognize the achievements of our undergraduates from our Queens, Staten Island, and Manhattan campuses. We're delighted that you have joined us to celebrate the more than 2,700 students who are receiving their undergraduate degrees. We wish we were celebrating with you in person and we look forward to seeing everyone when we can gather together for a ceremony in the future. While today's ceremony is not meant to replace the traditional in-person celebration and program, it does provide us with an opportunity to come together virtually as a university community and to congratulate and confer the degrees of our students who work so hard to complete their academic studies. In lieu of the traditional calling of graduate names, we have created a grad slideshow of the class of 2020, which will be available immediately following this virtual ceremony. Graduates, families, and friends will be able to view the slideshow and download graduate slides with their name, degree, message, and photo. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Reverend Bernard M. Tracy, CM, Executive Vice President for Mission, who will deliver the invocation. Graduates, six months ago you welcomed in the new year of 2020 with the awareness that you are not just beginning another year but this was going to be your final semester and you would be graduating. Two months later, that certainty of what your last semester would look like began to fade away. We started hearing news that a health crisis was looming on the other side of the world that could develop into a pandemic. Very quickly, COVID-19 was no longer in distant lands. It was on our shores and at our doorstep. The gates of the university's campuses were closed. Everyone had to work from home, and you had to finish your final semester at home, taking all your classes online. Days rolled into weeks, and weeks rolled into months, dealing with uncertainty and the unexpected. None of us expected that there would be no gathering with family and friends for your commencement this spring that you would not be with your classmates walking across the stage as anticipated. But as of today, you will be St. John's University's graduates. Through all the unexpected moments, you remain resilient and determined. And for, the, and for that, we are grateful and seek God's blessing now on you. Let us all unite our hearts in prayer and entrust to the hands of God those who are graduating today. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to know we need you to challenge the present and reimagine the future. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with an anger and injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people, so that you will work for justice and equality and peace. May God bless you with tears for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, poverty, and homelessness, so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain to joy. May God bless you with courage to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done and be the next generation of first responders and our heroes. May your integrity 
be a gift to the world. May you reflect God's love to all, and may the Spirit of God be always with you. Amen. Class of 2020, congratulations. Thank you, Father Tracy. Graduates, families, and friends, thank you for joining us. You, the class of 2020, will always hold a special place in our history and in our hearts. May the pride you feel upon attaining this important milestone shine brightly and overshadow the darkness brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for allowing St. John's to be your home. It seems like just yesterday when you had some of the same emotions you were feeling now, but for a very different reason. As you started college, there was excitement, trepidation, uncertainty of what this journey would be like. During your time at St. John's University, you have made wonderful friends. You have pushed yourselves to perform academically. You have found your passion. You have formed values that will stay with you for a lifetime. And yes, you have had a lot of fun and made numerous wonderful memories. Today, as your degree is conferred, you will experience something that only a small percentage of people in this world ever have the privilege to experience. You will be a college graduate, and more importantly, a graduate of St. John's University. We have enjoyed watching you grow and attain exceptional accomplishments, and we are incredibly proud of you. As you begin the next phase in this journey of life, Please always remember to take the values you've learned here at St. John's with you in your travels. Make time for those who have not had the opportunities that you've been given and treat them with respect and dignity. And know that in the spirit of our Catholic and Vincentian heritage, that service will forever be beckoning you. Answer that call. It is now my privilege to introduce two of our graduating seniors both from the Leslie H. and William L. Collins College of Professional Studies, and both members of the 2019-2020 President Society. Taylor Marie Capazello, President of Student Government Incorporated, Staten Island Campus, and Matthew D. Makatula, President of Student Government Incorporated, Queens Campus. Good morning, everyone. It is an honor to be able to speak to you all today. I would like to offer the most sincere and heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020. We have all worked so hard in order to get to this point, and although it may not look as we pictured, it does not diminish all of our accomplishments thus far. Although I am unable to celebrate with you all in person today, I will forever cherish all of the memories and experiences that St. John's has given us. The next chapters of our lives are just beginning, and I am confident that you are all destined for greatness. Congratulations again to all of my fellow Staten Island Johnnies and to the class of 2020. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of our graduating Johnnies, wherever you may be around the world. It is with immense gratitude that today, I represent student government on the Queens campus, and I congratulate you all today to celebrate our momentous accomplishment. I know that we all aren't together on the Great Lawn like we expected. However, in just a few short moments, we will all become proud alumni of St. John's University. The class of 2020 will forever be cemented in history as the class that withstood it all and accomplished our common goal of completing our undergraduate coursework. As our college experience comes to a close, take a moment to think back to the lifelong friends we have made, the good times and the bad times, and all of the lessons we have learned along the way. Although, in the end, the destination may not have been what we all expected, but the journey was an adventure in itself, and nothing can take that away from us. They say that if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Well, we not only made it here, we've made it through adversity and thrived here. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Our future is bright and clear. 
and one might even say that our vision is 2020. Thank you, Taylor Marie and Matthew. It is now my pleasure to introduce Heather Beveridge as soloist and St. John's University's Voices of Victory Gospel Choir, accompanied by Nigel W. Gretton, Director of Performing Arts, Perth A. Phillips, Assistant Director and Accompanist, and Darius Newman, Percussionist, who will perform Jehovah Sabaoth, God of Angels Armies. Thank you to the Voices of Victory. Your powerful performance this morning has reminded us to find strength and hope around us as we navigate through these unique and challenging times. To the class of 2020 graduates, families and friends, once again, good morning. I am Dr. Simon Moller, and I have the honor and privilege to serve as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at St. John's University. I would like to start by saying congratulations. 
a sincere congratulations as we are so proud of you and your achievements. Life is unpredictable, sometimes a little too unpredictable, and this spring semester has been challenging for all of us. We have witnessed the global health crisis and the devastation it has had in our country, our communities, our families, neighbors and friends. We have experienced how our world can be disrupted so very quickly, but importantly, we have realized that we are one global community that remains strong together. Through all of this, you have shown tremendous resilience. You have completed all classes, assignments and exams, whilst at the same time adjusting to learning remotely without the usual comfort of your friends, classmates, professors, and our beautiful campus. I will share with you that the highlight of my day from my office window in Newman Hall is to look out over the Great Lawn and see you walking from one class to the next, perhaps pondering a concept you learnt in class, smiling to a fellow student, dreaming of what is next, imagining the endless possibilities that lay ahead of you. Your possibilities are indeed endless, and you have shown that nothing is impossible. Today, we celebrate you. We celebrate you for all your accomplishments, class of 2020. You are simply amazing, and we wish you all the success and happiness that life will bring. And now, President Gempersall, as provost, it is my privilege, having been dully informed by the deans and the faculty of St. John's College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the School of Education, the Peter J. Tobin College of Business, the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, and the Leslie H. and William L. Collins College of Professional Studies to certify that the candidates who are presented for degrees have satisfactorily completed all coursework leading to those degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of St. John's University, Dr. Conrado Bobby Gempersall. Thank you, Provost Muller. I'm very proud to state that at St. John's, we turn hopes and aspirations into achievements and accomplishments. Through your hard work and perseverance, you have succeeded in achieving your goal of obtaining a St. John's degree that will hopefully serve as the foundation for your success in the future. I have received the testimony of the Provost and your Dean that you the candidates have satisfactorily complied with all the requirements demanded by the university statutes. By the authority invested in me, by the Board of Regents of the State of New York as President of St. John's University, and with the approval of the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer the degrees named to you, the candidates, and bestow on you every right and privilege attached to your degrees. Graduates, my personal congratulations to all of you. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Mike Anderson, head coach of the St. John's men's basketball team. Thank you. St. John's class of 2020. James Lang Allen said, adversity does not build character. It reveals character. And we are in a time of adversity. What will your character reveal about you? I want to share with you a time of adversity in my life. At the age of 25, married with two children, I decided to change jobs from salesman to volunteer basketball coach. We moved to a new state. Volunteer means you start at the bottom and you work your way up. I struggle to make ends meet but thank God for family and friends. We made it through it. This is how I got through. My focus became laser sharp. I kept my visions and goals in front of me. I took every opportunity to learn. I did more than what was required. I took responsibility of my life and what it was to become. Staying strong through adversity is how you overcome it. You know, challenges will come but those challenges will present an opportunity for you to grow. The journey you've been on has prepared you for moments like this, but you gotta be confident in what you've learned. You also gotta have faith and you gotta have that winning mentality. After all, you are a Johnny. In closing, 
I want to congratulate the St. John's class of 2020. You are officially Johnny's for life. Go St. John's. Thank you, Coach Anderson, for those inspiring remarks. Thank you again for joining us. We wish we could have been together in person to honor our graduates. Instead, we look forward to reuniting with you at an in-person celebration in the future. We hope you will view the grad slideshow following the ceremony and celebrate on social media. Graduates, we are incredibly proud of your commitment, resilience, service, and spirit. You will always have a home at St. John's University. As you officially become part of the family of more than 190,000 alumni of this great university, stay connected and support one another. May God bless you as you move confidently and proudly into that which lies ahead. Go forth and impact the world as only a Johnny can. Congratulations. And now to close our ceremony, I am pleased to introduce Jonathan Jose Torres, member of the St. John's University Voices of Victory and St. John's College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, class of 2020, who will perform the St. John's alma mater, Old St. John's. Sing.